also known as Cuban Beauty. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Why don't you hit like and subscribe and stay a while. For those of you that are returning, hey, welcome back. Today is Vlogmas Day number four. That's right, folks. It's day four of Vlogmas. Okay, so I told you I was going to take you all along on my keto diet. Or I'm not going to say diet because if I say the word diet, I will not stick to a quote-unquote diet. However, that being said, if I say lifestyle, I run a better chance of sticking to it, as does anybody else who uses an alternate means of losing weight as a lifestyle as opposed to a diet. We all hear the word diet and we're like, oh no. Mm -mm. Excuse me, I'm not sticking to that. No way. Not doing it. Yeah, okay, so that is why mine is called a lifestyle. Now, for those of you that are watching, I was going to tell you today what I've done, what I've eaten, what's been going on today, and what happened today. Not a lot on the Christmas front, really. Just not much on the job front yet, either. My fingerprints, the preliminary fingerprints have come back, but not the full set of fingerprints, so I'm still waiting. So, I got a couple of phone calls to make tomorrow. There's other places that want to hire me as well. And I'm going to touch base with them as well and see kind of where everything stands. See which job I really think would be, I'd be better off at. At the moment, I don't really want to tell what the job is because I don't want to jinx anything so that's why I'm not saying anything but just so y'all know no I'm not a stripper no I'm not doing anything like that okay not that anybody would let me anyway but anyway let me get back to my point since today is vlogmas day number four and it is also part of my ketosis lifestyle I know that I am into keto I am in ketosis now which is pretty good because I started this on Saturday I have not had a single soda now what I mean by a soda is like a coke a Dr. Pepper Pepsi, whatever kind of soda you drink. I personally prefer Cokes and Sprite. Those are my drinks of choice. However, when I do drink those, I generally get a diet because I am a diabetic. That being said, I've not had either one since last week, Friday. Yeah, you heard me right, last week, Friday. In the, in the Because I'm not drinking those uh, sodas of any kinds or pops or whatever you want to call them, I am drinking... Um, Club soda. I love club soda with a twist of lime. That is my favorite. So I've been drinking a lot of club soda to fill that need for the carbonation for a drink. But not having all the sugars or the calories that go with it. Next, I have lost four pounds of this morning. I had a four pound weight loss. This morning when I got up, I immediately weighed myself because I always weigh myself right after I get up. Well, I get up, I go to the bathroom. I have to pee first and then I don't know. TMI, I'm sorry. I pee first, and then I weigh. That's to tell me if I have any fluctuations in my weight, being that I am a heart patient, but I haven't had any. And also because, well, I don't know if I'm in ketosis, which I am. So, I started off my morning this morning by having my bulletproof tea. A lot of you may be like, bulletproof tea, what the heck is that? Well, hopefully tomorrow I can make a video of doing making this bulletproof tea where y'all can see. If not tomorrow, I will do it sometime this week. If not this week, next week. I will get a, a bit around to doing the video eventually. There's a lot going on right now in my life. And it, everything's kind of chaotic right now. So it's kind of hard for me to say when I can really film anything. So, except for my daily videos. So as of anyway, the ketosis tea or the bulletproof keto tea, which can also be used as keto bulletproof coffee. It is up to you however you want to drink it. You get your regular cup of tea, hot tea preferably because it works best. And hot coffee because it will again it works best you can turn this into an iced tea or an iced coffee after the process is complete but in order to start the process you have to have either a hot tea or a hot coffee what I do is I have a coffee maker and I have a Keurig I did not use my Keurig uh, Keurig I used my coffee maker I fixed six I put six cups of water into my coffee maker and hit it to run and it'll and I put Four, three to four bags of decaf tea because I don't drink decaf and decaf, coffee with caffeine. I'm too hyper and wired up as it is all the time. I don't need to add to that. So I uh, put that in a kettle or in the teapot. I've got both kettle or a coffee maker. I put it in my coffee maker. I let it percolate the tea through the coffee maker into the coffee pot. When that is done, I add that to a blender. I do have a magic bullet, but I don't know where the base of it is, so I can't blend it that way. So I've been using my blender. So I put that in my blender, and I pour all the tea, yes, all of the tea, all six cups into my cup, into my blender. And in there I put in, and this is the part where you're going to be like, oh, disgusting. Yeah, it sounds disgusting. 
but I'll explain in a minute. A tablespoon of butter from a grass-fed cow. The way you know it's that way is you want to look for Kerrygold Irish butter. It is the best. The Kerrygold Irish butter is by far the best butter I have found for grass -fed, from grass-fed cows. It's not exactly cheap. It's not exactly really expensive either. But when you're looking at your long-term health, it's really cheap. The next thing I use is a tablespoon of extra virgin coconut oil. One tablespoon of extra virgin coconut oil. Now, when you get into the coconut oil, you can use the liquid. That's up to you. I personally like the solidified one that I have to dig out with my spoon and measure exactly out a tablespoon and plop it in there. But that's me. Everybody's different. You do it however you want to do it. If you don't want to use it that way or you don't want to use the liquid uh, coconut oil, you can use a bottle, a supplement bottle. You can find it at most supplement stores, vitamin shops, whatever you call it, wherever you're at. Look for a bottle of MCT oil. That's medium chain triglyceride oil. And what you will do, again, you'll put a tablespoon, you'll measure out a tablespoon of that and pour it into your coffee or your tea. Then lastly, I put in a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Yes, heavy whipping cream. I'm very careful when I put this on blend through the blender that I put it on liquefy and not whip. Because if you put it in the blender and you put it on whip, you're going to come out with whipped cream. If you put it on liquefy on your blender, it will be liquid, which is what you want. That is your bulletproof coffee. You do not have to use a blender, however. If you have a milk frother, stick it in there and just kind of mix, buzz it up a little bit and it'll get nice and frothy. I don't have one yet, but I will be getting one. But that is what I wanted to tell y'all was the bulletproof tea that I did this morning. I did not have a mid-morning snack as I did not need one. I didn't feel like I needed one. So fast forward a little bit to lunch. I got hungry about 1.30ish, I guess, give or take. Maybe not that late. Yeah, I think it was about 12.45, 1 o'clock, I got hungry. I made myself a small iceberg lettuce, uh, a small iceberg salad, I'm sorry, in a small container. I put about three cups of iceberg lettuce in there that I got in a pre-filled bag. And with that, it comes carrots and red cabbage. Now, carrots are not on the keto diet, but because there's so few of them in the salad, it's not like a big deal. So I put that in there, and the cabbage is on keto, so that was good. And uh, I put that in that bowl, and then I added a can of strain, drained tuna from a can of tuna that was in water. I don't like tuna in oil. I like my tuna in water. If I do it in any oil, I like it in olive oil, so that's kind of hard to find. Some Most of your grocery stores do carry it, but uh, it is kind of hard for me to find where I live. I don't know why, but it kind of is. Usually it's not where the, the um, ethnic foods are. For those of you that live in the U.S., it'll be where the ethnic foods are. Because it's usually where the uh, Hispanic foods are, where you find Italian foods. You'll also find it over there where you find your anchovies or sardines. Sometimes all that stuff, you'll find it over there. Well, anyway, I get a can of just flake white tuna in water, drain it, strain it, whatever, get the water out of it any way I can, and I dump that on top of my salad. Then I put about, roughly about a tablespoon of shredded cheddar cheese, and my salad dressing does not come out of a bottle. I don't use bottled salad dressing. I use lemon juice and olive oil. And the only seasoning that I put on my salad is salt and pepper. And a very little bit of salt and a heavy dose of pepper. I like pepper. <laughs> but I have to kind of even out the salt and pepper. Otherwise, I'm gagging and sneezing the whole time I'm eating a salad. So it makes it kind of disgusting. The next thing I have is my mid-afternoon snack, which was roughly about 3.30, 3.45. 5, I think was my mid-afternoon snack. I don't quite remember. It, no, it had to have been... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My mid-afternoon snack was at 2. I'm, I'm totally lying. It was at 2.30. I made a mistake. My mid-afternoon snack was at 2.30. I got a small 2-ounce hunk of cheese. I cut my own piece of Colby Jack cheese off of a block of cheese just to have something to nibble on. Yeah, I basically turned myself into my own little mouse. And that was my mid-afternoon snack. Packed with fat. Packed with protein, which is what you want, and I will explain that in a little while. The next thing I did was um, dinner tonight. I made leftover soup that my husband and I ate last night. Last night I made taco soup. Keto 
friendly taco soup, which is, I used two pounds of hamburger meat because I knew it would carry over to today. So I ground up, I browned the two packages of hamburger, two pounds of hamburger meat and with salt and pepper, cumin, chili powder, wait, salt, pepper, cumin, chili powder, oregano, and I guess that's really about all. I made my own taco seasoning. I don't like taco seasoning out of a pouch. Too much sodium. I like to control what goes into my food. And uh, then I added one block of cream cheese. Full fat cream cheese. Not this low fat whatever. No, you put the full fat cream cheese in there. One can of Rotel or stewed tomatoes, whenever you prefer. I like Rotel tomatoes with habanero chilies. Again, this is where the heat comes in. I like heat. So I cook all that in. I added a, stock, a box of chicken stock, only I didn't buy the chicken stock, I made it homemade. And I, so basically I used about four cups of chicken stock, I guess you could say, or chicken broth, homemade that I made. And I added that, and slowly you just keep stirring that around, and that, that bar, that bar of a, that block of cream cheese will eventually begin to disintegrate on its own. And it'll begin to melt, which is what you want it to do, is slowly start melting. And as it melts, it makes this creamy sauce for your soup. Now, when you look at it, you're like, but wait a minute, this looks really fattening. This looks really gross. I can skim the grease off the top. Don't touch the grease. Leave it alone. I know you're probably thinking, Carmen, are you out of your damn mind? We've all been told fat is horrible for us. Yes, it is. Fat on a normal day is very bad for you. Yes, but hear me out. Okay. On the ketogenic diet, you want high fat, high protein, very low carbs. And the reason for the high fat is because instead of your body consuming carbs, such as candied, sugary fruits, sugary drinks, your body takes in the fat. So your bo your mind, your body all, all, um, all of a sudden says, hey, click, wait a minute. We don't have any more sugar to burn. What are we going to burn? Fat. Start burning those fat cells. And that's what you want. That's how all this fat starts coming off. Is by slowly starting to program your mind to start burning the fat instead of the sugars. We need sugar in our body. Our body has to have sugar. That's why diabetics do not produce, uh, don't have insulin. Or if they take in too much sugar, their body's not taking enough, he's not making enough insulin to counteract the amount of sugar that they're taking in. So they're having these extreme spikes of sugar and carbs while their insulin levels are way up here. I'm sorry, you can't see that. Okay, they're taking in their sugars, taking in their sugars, taking in their sugars, and slowly their blood sugars are going up, 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 up. But there's nothing to bring that down. Now, on the keto diet, when you do the fat, you're bringing all this fat up, and then you're bringing all these carbs down. Because your body doesn't need to burn those carbs. Your body needs to burn the fat. And what does sugar turn into? Fat. And when you do keto... Your diet, when you do the keto diet, your body fights off the sugars and the fat. But if you take in just fat and minimal amounts of sugar, your body will reprogram itself to start burning the fat. So that you don't, that you want to put your body into ketosis. And yes, it is safe to be in ketosis. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not telling you to go do it, go out and do it. It will take my advice. No, don't do that. Talk to your healthcare provider before you do anything. I'm not here to, do, to prescribe you anything. I'm not here to tell you to do anything. I'm not giving you advice on it. I'm just telling you about it. If you feel that the keto diet is for you, talk to your medical professional about it. See what they say. Give them, give them a heads up. Say, hey, doc, you know, I've been reading a lot about this, and I kind of want to try it. and See what they say. There's different thing, ways you can adapt different lifestyles to the keto diet. Another diet you can follow that is similar to keto is something called sugar busters. It's a little different than keto. It doesn't put your body into ketosis, but it works with the same idea. They parallel each other pretty closely, but they're not exactly the same. But that being said, that is the end of my video for today. That was my Vlogmas Day 4. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be back tomorrow with Vlogmas Day 5. And just so you know, I did have a 4-pound weight loss this morning. I don't know if I said that earlier. I can't remember. Hope I did if I didn't, now you know. So tomorrow I'll give you all an update again. I don't know if it's going to be a live miss or a vlog miss. I haven't decided whether I'll go live tomorrow or if I'll just do a vlog. So I'll know tomorrow. But either way, y'all guys, stay blessed. Love y'all. Be good. Besos.
Welcome back. I realized I got a little off topic earlier and got a little, con probably confused y'all a little bit about the diabetes and how it works. I'm so sorry. So I thought I'd come back and maybe explain it a little bit. Okay, let me plug my ring, my ring light got unplugged. Sorry. Okay, so let me just tell you like this, okay, because I know not everybody in the world is a doctor or a nurse and some of you don't have diabetes, so therefore you don't know. Now, I will tell you diabetes type 1 is a juvenile onset diabetes. That means it's generally a child, you usually get it in young adulthood or when you're a child when you develop type 1 diabetes and it can last your entire life. Type 2 diabetes is more of a, is the diabetes that generally begins when you're older like me. Where you can either become non-insulin resistant, which I am, or you can become insulin dependent. There's non-insulin dependent diabetes type 2 and there's insulin dependent diabetes type 2. I fortunately am a non-insulin dependent diabetic. Long story short, this is what I wanted to tell y'all because I know I kind of got off track earlier. Diabetes is a disease in which the body's ability to produce or respond to hormone insulin is impaired, resulting in the abnormal metabolism of carbs, carbohydrates and elevated levels of glucose in the blood and the urine. Again, as I said earlier, your body needs to metabolize carbs properly because unless the body metabolizes carbohydrates properly, you're always going to have these extremely high blood sugars and you're always going to need insulin, insulin injections to bring these two back together to bring them back down. Because while your body's not fighting the carbs, your pancreas is going crazy trying to figure out a way to get it to come down. But your, body, your pancreas in a diabetic cannot produce enough insulin to keep up. So that's why the keto diet comes into effect. You reprogram your brain to not get in so much carbs so your body will learn to burn fat so therefore your pancreas can get a break and can start bur producing insulin properly so it can fight off the small amount of carbs that you are taking in. Because us as Americans or as anybody on our, any us as human beings as a, as a whole need to learn that we do not need to be taking in large amounts of sweets and candies and carbs and whatnot and all the horrible stuff for our body because our bodies are not made to deal with that. I mean, think back to the caveman days. Do you think cavemen ran around eating ice cream or candy bars or, you know, corn? I mean, maybe corn, I don't know. But, I mean, no, they ate mainly on plants and food that they could catch. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, but wait a minute, the cavemen had to run and try to catch their meal, and they wouldn't eat for days if they couldn't catch their meal. Correct. Very correct. But in today's lax society that we have, we're not running around outside chasing our meals every day. No. We go to work, we come home, we raise kids, we do our thing. We go to a grocery store to get our food, where it is already killed for us and already prepared. All we got to do is bring it home and prepare it however we want to eat it. So, again, I tell you, cut back on the carbs. If you want to do the keto diet, do it. But again, please ask your doctor about that. But I just wanted to give you that little tidbit of information about diabetes that I noticed that earlier. I went a little bit on a rant. It didn't seem like I really explained myself very well, or at least I didn't think so. So I'm hoping maybe that would better help you understand what I was trying to say. So that's my Vlogmas Day 4. Tomorrow's Vlogmas Day 5. So be sure you stick around for it, okay, guys? Love you all. Take care. If you have any comments or concerns, put them down in the in the question box, in the comment box down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let's try not to get any thumbs down in this video, please. I'd like one video without any thumbs down. Let's be positive. This is a positive channel. I realize that there are people out there that don't like my videos, and that's fine. And don't like me as a person, and that's fine. But if you're giving me a thumbs down out of spite, that's not cool. So please, can we try to keep this video to zero thumbs down and all thumbs up? Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Vlogmas Day 5. See you later. Bye-bye. Besos.